Hey everyone, I'm Seth Harding, your American F1 Journo, and this is your Grand Prix Rundown. Well, Sergio Perez will be back behind the wheel for Racing Point for the Spanish Grand Prix after he tested negative for COVID-19. Perez missed the two weeks of racing at Silverstone after a positive test ahead of the British Grand Prix. He was replaced by Nico Hulkenberg with the German driver filling in for Perez again for the 70th anniversary Grand Prix after he tested positive for the second time. Thursday Racing Point confirmed that Perez had tested negative and will be back behind the car for this weekend's race. Since the season restart, all races have been held under strict coronavirus safety protocols without spectators. Perez's return comes following Renault's protest of Racing Point's car. The FIA declared that Racing Point had not designed their rear brake ducts themselves, and the team were docked 15 points in the Constructors' Championship and fined over $400,000. Racing Point has protested the verdict, but Ferrari and Renault have appealed the verdict in hopes of a harsher punishment. Racing Point owner Lawrence Stroll has broken his silence following the verdict, only defending his team, saying he is appalled by the poor sportsmanship of our competitors. And finally, Indianapolis Motor Speedway owner Roger Penske has reversed course and has decided not to allow fans at the Indianapolis 500 later this month. The 104th running of the Indy 500 will be the first time in the sports history without spectators who have come to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway every year, even during the Great Depression. Penske had initially said he wouldn't run the 500 without fans, but as the pandemic continued to spread across the nation, the decision was made to limit the capacity to 50%. The Speedway also released a 88-page manual on how to safely host spectators. Penske said the reversal in spectator policy was, quote, the toughest business decision I've ever made in my life. He went on to say, we didn't buy the Speedway for one year, we bought it for generations to come, and it's important to our reputation to do the right thing. Penske purchased the iconic Speedway in January and since has been preparing for the event. However, the pandemic forced the race to change the dates for the first time from Memorial Day weekend to August 23rd. Well, that's going to do it for the rundown. As always, my friends, be safe, wash your hands, and I will see you when the lights go out.